Hello everyone, welcome here. Course curriculum. What you are going to learning in this particular course, you will be known here. Don't skip this lecture, you will be know about the program roadmap. Let's start. Introduction. About the course and getting started, how to ask a great queries, all free softwares used. We will help you how to download and get software installed in your computer system and making and creating first projects. Setting up local development. What you can build. Getting Visual Studio, installing process, creating a new project and creating first C++ app that is a Hello World program. By starting and initiating of a compiling of the C++ code and running these all are super easy techniques you will be learn here. C++ basics creating variables, constants, identifiers, working with the standard library which are available readily inside the C++ how we can simply declaring a library name and how we can use the functionality of the library we are going to learning here and a reading user input through keyboard like a, it's nothing but like a IO input output devices how we are dealing here c++ data types data types basic what are the types of data types are there and what the type of data is going to be taking in real world how we can define inside the program you are going to be identifying here and the numeric types strings characters and boolean expressions how declaring in programming now C++ operators, basic operators, arithmetic operators, assignment operators, comparison operators and logical operators. These all the operators you will see in a real world source code examples you will find. And C++ strings, what are the strings? Append string data, built in functions, indexing and input string formatting and using namespace to specifying the standard libraries how it would be possibly make more productive strings interaction with our programming language you are going to be concentrating here decision making system so what is the decision making system using if else statements we can construct a decision making either where to go what to go when to go such as all the queries will be answered in this particular program to making how to take in a decision using ternary operator to shortcut of if else statements making one line statement whether true or false gender male or female such a status enable disable such conditions we can apply ternary operator and switch case will help you to making more productive code where switching off directly in the particular area of a program to work out what is the advantages in using switch case rather than if else you will be known in this particular section control flow statements control flow statements are nothing but loops loops like a while loop do while and a for loop nested loop break and continue keywords how to control a loop statement and a prime number program to identify whether user is given input number is a prime or not sample program is explained very detailed is the best process of uh, loop statements also with the example of a multiplication table what the custom number you are going to adding and interacting you will be trying here arrays arrays creating reading arrays how to deal with the multiple data items in simple single variable it's nothing but array so changing of array data multi-dimensional array updating reading using loop through reading all these functionality you will be learn here in this particular section now c++ functions creating a function calling a function reading a function with the multiple parameters default value and overloading all like a call by value call by references you are going to be learning even recursion how to function call itself the same function you will be learn from this section i hope these all the sections will give you a kick as a start for to entering and starting c++ coding in a master classes i'm strongly welcoming you inside the course thank you